Hi and welcome to another video. Um, I was not able to finish this, the third part of the tutorial series this week because uh, we had a very busy week, a lot of things going on. But I thought instead I give you a short update on the leaf cutter ant colony, just a very short update uh, to tell you about how things are going and where we are at the moment. Yeah, um, so let, let's head into it. Um, as you can see, it looks different than it used to look before. I removed the sand of the, of the outworld um, and replaced it with soil and dried leaves. As you can see, there are a lot of leaves laying around now this time of the year, so it was very easy to gather them. And uh, I think it looks better. It looks more like, uh, like the floor of a forest. That was the aim of the whole thing. And uh, you know, even if you get closer, you can get really nice, uh, nice, a nice view of the ants. And I also think it's easier for the ants to traverse uh, their territories because they can walk on those leaves. Uh, as we have we seen before, uh, they have really troubles walking on sand. Um, this should be solved like that. And also, you know, at first I thought they wouldn't cut those old leaves because they are dry, but I was wrong. They are also cutting at them. You, know, you can see. Uh, and carrying a part of the leaf here. So uh, it's even an additional food source and it's decorative. In my opinion it looks good and it makes it easier for the ants to, to travel. So that's why I changed it. Underneath it is soil, it's actually made of coconut, this coconut husk. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a little bit how it looks. Now let's go into the nest. Um, as you can see the fungus tipped over again. Uh, it was on the back side of the, of the container over here, you know, on this side. And tipped over again to this side, but that's just, <laughs> I'm not, I don't think it was last time. And as you can see, they have a lot of dried leaves right now they're working on. Uh, they even seem to prefer it to the, to the fresh black, uh, blackberry leaves, um, which is a little bit curious. Uh, yeah, the fungus has grown again, uh, it keeps growing, they are working really hard on it and also the population is growing. Now one thing that we are really waiting for is the first soldiers to arrive and uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, we had a, this, there was this huge pupa inside the colony and uh, well there was, first it was a larva and it was huge and we knew this is a, this is a soldier larva and we thought yeah now we we're gonna have the first soldiers. And, uh, and we could observe it because they placed it right outside on the, of the fungus. So we could observe it, how it turned into a pupa and how it developed. And, uh, and really we were able to see all the, you know, the special features of the soldiers, especially this huge head. Um, we have quite a few large media workers right now, normal workers, but they are really, really large. And usually if people start keeping uh, leaf cut rents, they think those are the soldiers. But uh, that's not the case. Soldiers have very distinct features and the most distinct feature is the, a, a huge head, you know, a head, head that looks unproportional to the rest. And that's the typical feature of a soldier ant. And it was really, you know, we really thought now we have to, we were gonna have the first one, which was a little bit surprising because uh, usually you get the first soldiers when, you, when your colony has reached a size of around 10,000 workers. And we're not there yet, of course. I think we have around 5,000, maybe 6,000 workers, so uh, we still, still have ways to go. But we were pleasantly surprised when we saw this. But, uh, and, but one day, all of a sudden, the pupa, the soldier pupa was on the garbage. They carried it out from the nest to the garbage, and that probably meant that something, happened, something wrong happened. Um, I don't know why this happened or what, what the reason was behind it, because it looks perfectly nice to me. But uh, they can, of course, they can see things that we don't and uh, probably died or got infection or something like that. And that was really disappointing. And now we're still waiting for the first soldiers. And right now we don't have any indicators that there will be soldiers soon. But uh, it was already a sign of hope that, uh, that the first soldier pupa was there actually. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to when the first soldiers will arrive. Now, um, I think that's it. Uh, the other thing is also, you know, uh, place this thing in here to feed them sugar water. Now I can put much more sugar water in it. And especially now that they're cutting dried leaves, they're probably going to need a lot of sugar water. You can see three of them drinking right there. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really happy how, how this turns out, how, how this turned out. Uh, it looks much better, I think, and it makes it really interesting to observe them on the leaves because you can, you now it's not, that they are not that easy to spot anymore. You really have to look for them where they are. They can be underneath the leaves and the, or above the leaves. And uh, I also, in some way, it also increased the territories because they have now more surface to, 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 uh, to scout because they can scout underneath the leaves and on top of the leaves. And I think it's a win-win situation. It looks better. It's more interesting to observe them. And I also think it's better for them. Uh, you know, when we had sand and almost all the traffic was on the log here and almost no traffic was on the sand. And this definitely changed. There are a lot of ants uh, traveling around the outworld on the leaves. And uh, yeah, I think that's great. So uh, the next video will be the third part of the tutorial series. And uh, I will have more updates in the future. Um, I'm sorry that it's all about leafcutter ants right now, but uh, all my other colonies are in hibernation right now. Uh, so there's not much to tell about them. But uh, next spring there will be things about different ant colonies, also colonies in the wild. Um, but right now I can't really because they're all, all in diapos right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, it would be great if you would leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, I would be really honored if you would and hit the bell icon as well so uh, you get all the notifications and and yeah thank you